Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful painting. It was a photograph I saw on the internet a couple of years ago and I painted it for my living room on a 24 by 36 inch canvas. So I'm going to show you how to paint it on 11 by 14 which I have gessoed with white gesso um, because I had something else painted on this canvas previously. I'm just using tube acrylic paints from Hobby Lobby so um, just your master's touch, your basics, whatever, whatever acrylic paints that you have, just use those. Don't go out and buy anything special. We're going to use black and white and three different colors of red, a dark, a medium, and a light red. So for now, I've started with a very wide uh, two-inch chip brush, and I've applied white paint directly in the center in an up and down stroke. This is important to have the up and down stroke for this painting. I've then picked up a little bit of black on one corner of that paint and applied it on each side of that white. Picking up a little bit more black paint as I go and work my way to the outer edges of this um, background. Uh, we want it to be dark on the two outer edges and then have a gradation of color back to that white and then from the white grade 8 of color out to the black on the opposite side. Now don't stress out about this background and getting it perfect because we're not going to see hardly any of this background. We're going to see what's at the bottom of the canvas. Anything above that we're not going to see. So just try to retain that bright white in the center. That's the most important thing. So now I'm taking a four filbert brush and I'm going to start creating some distant trees. Now these are just rows of lines but I don't want them lined up like soldiers so don't put them all at the same spot on the canvas. You want to vary where they start, where they grow from. So um, where you set them is very important. Don't make a line. Try to not put any directly in the very center of that bright area. Leave a little gap in there. And that's going to help us with our brightness later on for our painting. So now I've taken some glazing medium and I let my black paint dry completely. This is important. And mix a little bit of white in with that black paint. And I am... Um, just glazing over the black in the background. So now I'm adding my next row of trees. As you can see, I've moved them down the canvas a little bit, but I'm not lining them up like soldiers. This is very important. I, I probably will repeat that several times through this video because I don't want you to have little sticks of soldiers lined up. Um, so we're going to give these some branches and give them a little bit more detail. I'm going in between these trees and creating another row of distant trees by just adding some more lines. And now I'm adding, um, just setting the trees by giving them a foot, a foundation um, in the painting. Then I'm going to take a rough stippling brush and just very lightly stipple on um, the illusion of some leaves. Again, this is going to be pushed into the background, so I don't want you to spend a lot of time on it. Just tap a little bit of paint in there. Let the black paint dry completely. And then another uh, layer of glazing medium and white. Um, I have more glazing medium than I have white. If I would rather you do it that way, because if you get too much white, and you push them back so far that we can't see them, then you lose the depth in your painting. So um, try to use a little bit more glazing medium than you do white. Okay, so we uh, are ready for our next row of trees after that glazing medium dried. And we're going to, again, these are going to be a little bit lower than the ones you did before. These are going to have more form, more character, uh, more details. Um, this is the, I believe this is the last row of trees I did on this small canvas um, before we did our main trees. So um, we want to take a little bit more detail with these trees. Um, if you're doing a much larger canvas, then you, you might get an, an additional one or two rows of trees, depending on how big your canvas is. So uh, you can add as little or as much detail to each layer as you go. Um, I'm stippling on uh, some leaves here, and they're a little bit darker than the leaves I put on the trees that were just behind them. So um, we're getting a lot more depth here. You can already see how the trees in the background have pushed back so far already just by adding those layers of glazing medium. So once these paint, these, uh, the, uh, 
once this black paint, I'll get it out there, I promise, the black paint is completely dry, then you apply another coat of glazing medium and white on here and let that dry. Now we're ready for our main tree. The four main trees in the front, there's going to be two black trees on the left, one black tree on the right, and our main tree that is in the, in the center. But it's not directly in the center, it's offset to the right. We don't want to cover up that bright, bright white that comes down the middle. So put it a little bit to the right. This makes it more visually appealing as well and draws your eye to the tree. Um, we're going to add more detail here. So we want to take great care in adding the detail and um, just give these trees a lot more character because especially on our main colored tree, our red tree, we will see a lot of those branches. So you want to make sure that you're um, giving some nice detail to these trees. And as you can see here, I'm not lining them up like soldiers. I told you I would repeat that many times. It's very important um, to um, vary them in height. By height, I mean where they set on the canvas. Not how tall they are, but where, where their trunks set on the canvas. So now I'm pulling down with the black paint the um, reflections here of these brighter trees. And the other trees behind, they need reflections as well. So as you do the layers of trees, you can add the reflections at that time and just glaze right over with them. I forgot to do that, so that's why I'm coming back to do it now. Either way is fine. On my original painting, I did it as I was doing the uh, tree layers. But uh, this one I forgot, so I'm just adding them in later. It's, it's not a big deal if you forget, because all we have to do once they dry is add some glazing medium over those trees. Any trees that have the glazing medium on them will get the glazing medium on their reflection. So I'm stippling in on these more forward dark trees. And uh, of course, they're going to get a lot more um, darker leaves on them to... Um, you know, show that they're more in front. They're not our focal point, but um, they're helping with that focal point. So again, take great care with those trees and make sure that they look nice. So now we want to glaze those reflections as soon as I touch up a little bit of black here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just uh, still using the four filbert brush that I started out with. Um, we have very limited brushes, so um, don't think you have to go out and get a bunch of brushes for this. I'm stippling on a little bit of black at the bottom for reflection from those three darkest trees. So now I'm glazing over all of the trees that the shadows or the reflections of the trees that are in the background. If they have glazing medium on the background, their reflection must have glazing medium on them as well. Then um, do that as many times as you need to to get them to the same point of the trees that are in the background. Add a little bit more of the white in the very center there to, to keep that bright. And now we're going to start adding our reds onto our tree. Now I just use a dark medium and a light red. Uh, my darkest color, I, I promise I will list the colors below in the description. I don't remember right at this moment what colors I used. But it could have been a little bit more opaque for me. So if you have a paint that's not quite as opaque and you think, oh my gosh, it's going to take 10 layers to get this color to pop, add a little bit of black to that paint, just darken it up and use that as your base layer. Then come back in with that paint without black in it and put that on top of that um, layer that's got the black mixed with it. That's how I did my original one. This one I did not do it that way. So once I've got that uh, first color on there how I like it, I'm going to start with my second color which is a little bit brighter of a color. And I don't want to cover up everything that I put underneath it. So uh, make sure when you're layering that you're not completely covering up the color, the previous color that you put on there. And now I'm coming back with my brightest, um, it's a reddish orange color on there. And you can go back and touch up this tree, you know, to wherever um, you feel like you need to add more color here or there into that tree. So now I'm um, going to take a smaller Deerfoot brush 
And um, by the way, I did that tree with a larger Deerfoot brush. And this this um, reflection I'm doing with a smaller one. Now, less is best down here with the reflection. So I would say do just a little bit. Just tap a little bit in there. Leave the painting for a minute or two. Come back to it and see if you want to add more. Because we have the tendency to put too much in at first. So um, I recommend doing a little bit, going to do something else, and then coming back to it. Now I've side-loaded a small um, 8 flat brush and with some white and I am just uh, streaking across some highlights on uh, all of the reflected areas and putting them just where I feel like uh, it will really make the painting pop. And then I'm going to come back with a wash of black and put that underneath my highlight highlighted areas to um, kind of set those highlights where I want them to be. Um, and then I'm going to come back with just white down the center and really brighten that up. So you can see all of our trees in the distance. They look like they're in the distance. They um, And the ones in the front definitely look like they are in the front. Thank you so much for painting this with me. I had a great time.